<laughs> Happy Christmas! <laughs> Good eye! <laughs> Bang! And welcome to a packed Camelot Beach. I can't, I can't walk, look. It's littered with people. Where they all come from? Man. And the amount of sunbed. It's, it's like a dark zone down there. There's so many umbrellas. It's, it's, it's like you're hibernating. But there's people on Camelot Beach. It's pretty busy. And I'm quite surprised. So I, I kind of expect it to be empty. Don't know why I expected it to be empty. Just, ah, oh man. So I am off for a breakfast. My Christmas Eve breakfast in the pond. The best, oh my word. Man, <laughs> good eye. Girl's bottom nearly took me eye out. <laughs> Oh man, everywhere you look. <laughs> so today, we'll mostly be walking on the beach. <laughs> be rude not to. It would. Look at this. All these sunbeds, man. Where did they all come from? I can't walk on the beach anymore. Oh man. Wow, this actually looks like a proper beach resort. How cool. Awesome. It really is. Camelot Beach is probably one of the most, I would say, a holiday destination. One of the best on the planet. It really is. Four simple reasons this promenade that i am walking upon the businesses just here on the beach the sunbeds and the massage parlors and to my right the shanty town where you can get your thai pancakes your fruit shakes and your pack up pow even a few beers and a few things sweaty cap how are you buddy you good? Good, good. Awesome. Oh man, and wherever you look, <laughs> there are bums everywhere. There are ladies in thongs. I'm like, I've never seen so many bums. I haven't. Peaches everywhere. Everywhere you look. Some of them maybe I shouldn't film, but some of them I certainly will. But, oh man, look at her stretching. <laughs> Funny thing is, most of these peaches are, um, they're, 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 they're not on their own, unfortunately. So, <laughs> oh, I'm so looking forward to my breakfast at the pond. And I do have my laundry with me to take to my landlady who has successfully rented out my old apartment for six months, which I'm really happy about. I really am, I like the family. I like, I like it that they've got revenue coming in and their lives are secure. I am, I really am. So, actually, let's go and drop the kids off at the pool. <laughs> oh, I love it at the pond. I've got a few things, there's a few changes here. I'll show you. I'll show you what's new at the pond breakfast is served i love it here i do i do i do i have a feeling of utter contentness when i'm here in the pond i really do and it's good they've got new stuff i'll show you a few changes before i eat that that awesome looking veggie omelette with my tea and my toast. Ladies know what I like to eat. 
Uh, 10, it's only 10 o'clock, so I'm eating rather early. Not 10 thirsty just yet. But that looks awesome. That's the best thing. I'll tell you what. The best thing about the pond is the food. <laughs> of course. Mmm. Mmm. That's really, that is really good. I've, looked, I've waited to have a decent egg omelette in some time, a veggie omelette. And they're all a little bit skew if. But not here. No. So what's new at the pond? Well, tablecloths. Look. All brand new tablecloths. And the staff, where are they? They're hiding up, look. The staff have all got brand new t-shirts. Look, and we have new staff as well. And it's really cool. It's really good. It's a really good, vibrant, happy atmosphere in the pond. It really is. Thank you. Thank you. This is a boss at the cashier. That's a young lady. What do you got? Oh, cool. Cool. Awesome. That really pleased me to come in here last night. And, uh, I didn't catch it on camera because I didn't have the camera on. But I was like, so good. And look, here's the, here's the other thing that's really good about the pond. <laughs> you just sit there. And there's a little promenade. And obviously I'll come and sit here in the sun in a few hours. But you just got this beautiful sand to that awesome beach. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> perfect. One of the best beaches, holiday resorts, destinations. Definitely within Thailand and possibly on the planet. Because this place, like I say, it's getting busy, it's getting busy. But it will get a bit quiet later towards the evening, but it is also... I'll be here tonight to watch the sunset. Right. I'm going to eat my omelette. Oh, yeah. Ah, so I'm looking forward to being back here later. I will. I'll be back here this afternoon, having a few beers, and I'll be back this evening, having a little walk up the street, showing you the sunset. Today's vlog, Christmas Eve, Camilla. Why <laughs> not? It's like, where would you want to be on Christmas Eve right now? Tucked up with your, with your, with your heating? What is it? Central heating on? Maybe burning a fire, having a roasting a few chestnuts? Well, not for me. No. Summer has begun. It has. And I'm drawn. <laughs> oh, something smells so good. It does. At the re established smile bar. And that smell is putting a smile on my face. You can see all those basted chickens. They've been basted with tamarick. That's what that yellow is. It is. Oh. But it's disappointment. <laughs> Fucking hell. The cost. But that's the price you pay for sitting there eating chicken <laughs> rather than going to Big C <laughs> and getting one for 150 baht and then eating it on your balcony. You get what you pay for. Right now I'm off to Big C in a little while, so I might buy a chicken and eat it on the balcony. Oh my. Oh, you can see behind me. What a wicked, wicked beach this is. Very natural beach as well. A little bit of wind picking up. But there's no clouds coming, there's no rain. The rain is coming from inland if it comes. That's where that wind is now coming. That, that's the whole change in the seasons. The wind either come from that way or in the dry, in the wet season it comes that way. That's when you know the rain is coming. Very rarely do you get rain coming that way. But still, <laughs> it might rain. And it's wicked. This is the pond and it's a wicked place to just sit and chill on the beach knowing that there's a shower there's a toilet and there's a really good restaurant right there and and ah oh, turn around <laughs> and there's a really really cool beach 
that you can bring the kids to because the sea is relatively shallow and it has calmed down a lot even though it's still a little bit rough for this time of year all them waves should have gone oh man and that's the coconut bar where i'll probably see my mate later that was really good arriving last night i see a couple of people that i've met here before so knowing they're here for christmas that's really good i've got plenty of friends to play drinking games with <laughs> i'm sure i'll come up with some right well i've got to walk past this really busy bit where all these sunbeds are it's packed a bit too packed <laughs> too packed <laughs> Then I'm off the big sea. I'm waiting on a moped. Uh, my old landlady is going to give me a ring when the moped is available, which should be very soon. Whoa! <laughs> oh, right, the best way to see this beach is from up there. So I'm going to go on, I'm going to get the drone, I'm going to get my dictaphone and I am going to take you for a Christmas Eve flight. I am. I'm going to take you for the inaugural vlogging a dead horse flight. So hold tight. Oh, come on. Okay. Good day. Oh, man. And welcome to my drone flight of Kamala Beach which I've already spotted an eagle. I have. Right out in the front there. At the sea, which is not good. Let's see if we can see him. Because if he's nesting, he's going to take that drone down. Okay, he's gone away. That's good. He's gone out to sea. Wicked. So this is Kamala Beach. Welcome to my inaugural flight of Camilla Beach and I cannot see a thing I've got my eye on the drone in the sky but I cannot see what it is picking up at all because the sun is so bright it is so bright I can't see anything <laughs> in big C, supermarket, filling up my fridge. You know what I said about a chicken? Well look, a whole roasted chicken with sauce, still hot. <laughs> 129 bar. Rude not to. Or you can go and pay 500 and whatever. And sit in a place that's a bit wanky. Maybe. <laughs> so it's Christmas. They've got Christmas songs, ain't there, Ty? 
Christmas. I think it's really weird that Thai people are celebrating Christmas. I do. I really do. I find it very amusing. But with that said, I'm very surprised that Thai people did not invent Christmas. All them flashing lights, all them bells, all that tinsel, all that book. I'm really, really surprised Thailand didn't invent it. I know, Victorians invented it. They did. Shall I, I will go into the Christmas, oh man, the Christmas story. Can you imagine if it happened in Thailand, right? Baby Buddha being born. They'd be with the three kings, three fucking lady boys, right? You know, that, that's the Thai version of Christmas I want to see. I do, I do. Right, I need some SPF 50 and they don't have it. I just got 30. It's no good for my soft, soft skin. <laughs> Aha, big C, super C, look. Back to 50, that one. 179 baht, that's your best bet, and it is SPF 50. Believe me, I cover myself in that, and it's really good, lasts all day, it really does. So shall I go into the Christmas nativity version? Would you like to hear it? Maybe a bit later. Okay. <laughs> Not only is the pond one of the best restaurants in the whole of Thailand, on Phuket, this tiny little island, there is another restaurant that is equally as good. It serves excellent food. It has a wonderful, wonderful coffee garden. Good day. Good day. Hello. Good day. Swatty cat. No one here though. <laughs> There's no one here. There's usually a few regulars sat upon this bench. <laughs> so if you want the best breakfast in Thailand, you might want to get yourself here. Good day, Mary Bell. How are you? I'm very good. What are you doing with the old man? Sorry. Yeah, where's Richie? Yeah, he's somewhere. Oh, he's out there? Yeah. Oh, I must have missed him. Okay. Okay. Kapum cat. Don't know where he is. He's absconded. Stefan's bike's there, but ah, there he is. He's having a ways. <laughs> anyway, happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'll come uh, wish you a happy Christmas. Yes. And that, Merry yeah. Christmas. Merry Hi. Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Um, do, do you want me to sing over there? Huh? Is that, yeah. I'm, sing, I'm me. singing. Oh, oh, me. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. singing here tomorrow, right? <laughs> yeah, you yeah, booked yeah, me yeah. for Christmas Day? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Come and sing, mate. <laughs> you know, open tomorrow, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, man. So, anyway, you're, time. you all know Richie and Mary Bell. So, I have come, because round about now, that I will put a link in the description. I really do fancy. Like a breakfast. cappuccino. I did, I've had breakfast. I might have last night. We went to Camelot. I was in Camelot, I've only got there till half ten. Pond. Pond, I've got there. Right next door, Smile Bar. I went there, I was the other one in Coconut. Oh, right. ah. So, if you want to buy me a cappuccino, there is a link in the description and you now can do so. But we all know I don't drink cappuccino. <laughs> it's Leo o'clock time. Kapoom! <laughs> that's all right, fella. That's awesome. Kapoom, cap. Now, you all know how much I love my pack of pal, right? But pack of pal is not what I eat at the pond. No, it is not. It's not. It's really hot today. It's so hot. This, right? When you're up in Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai and all that, you forget how hot it is. It's hot, isn't it, darling? Here, it's sweaty hot. Cool. And so my favourite dish in the pond is actually the red curry. Curry. Do you want to? Do you want to film me? Do you want to take camera? Can yeah. see? Can see me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If if picture go off, okay, just okay. tap. Okay. You hold steady. Can see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Uh -huh. I, I have a new lady assistant. Can can see me and the food. <laughs> I've just given my camera. To, to one of the new members of staff to involve her in my show. 
you're, you're doing well darling yeah. so the red curry uh -huh. in the pond uh -huh. is awesome uh -huh. spicy mm, mm, good boy. Uh -huh. mm, mm. Good flavour. Couple cap. <laughs> Thank you. It is. The basil, oh everything. That is one of the most flavoursome foods. The coconut, the lime, the chili. Mmm. Not only that, look. I don't know if you can see it, it looks really good. The steamed rice and the Leo. It's me. Have a happy afternoon. And like I said, it's nothing better sitting here in the sun, eating really tasty food, a bit of banter with the staff, <laughs> and sinking Leo's. It is awesome. So yeah, we're having an intermission. Oh man, you've got plenty of green beans, sweet corn, cauliflower, chicken and carrots. Mm. Very good. Okay. Oof. For a minute there, didn't think the camera was going to turn back on. Christmas Eve and the camera backing out. This is <laughs> Camilla Beach. My fucking voice is gone. Don't know why. I have got wasted this afternoon. It's Christmas Eve after all. And the beach is really busy that way but the sunset is over there which is really weird when I was here six months ago sunset was out there and now it's over there there's one thing to note about that I would say when I was here before in what is it the wet season the off season I was because of how quiet everywhere was and no one look no one was on this beach right everything was really cheap and the weather weren't much different to this and the sunset would be out there where you'd fucking want it I don't know what it's doing over there I've got my big camera with me and everything and it's like that's really it's not right it should be out there <laughs> I can't do nothing about it. Anyway, the argument was, is, is Phuket better in the dry season or in the so-called wet season? I still reckon it's better in the wet season. It's got a place to yourself. It's no real difference in the weather. It's hot as fuck, no matter how you look at it. And it, it rains in, in the dry season and the wet season. I'm fucking running on a bit now. I am. I can't believe how many people on the beach. I brought you out on Camilla Beach to show you the sunset. Over there. Where's the pond? Have I walked past the pond? I have. Yes, yes I have. So I'll have to walk back. It's quite part of the beach. It gets busier. These people are still out in the sea. Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> I've got not much else to do really, except go to the pond and have more beer. I have sat on the balcony, oh, drinking. I was looking for my artwork on the beach today. <laughs> uh, you would have thought, oh man, it's still there, no way, look. I was looking for it, I nearly stepped right over it, it's still there. That's awesome. Who ever done that? That's funny as fuck. Well, I think it's funny. <laughs> I don't have the other stuff's there. I thought that was pretty good. So if you, you enjoyed my drone footage today, I will be trying to do more stuff like that. It's, it's just a case of just so I could be an arse to do it. Like doing this right now, a little bit stoned, a bit wasted, walking up the beach. Just getting busier and busier. And the sun, it's a wicked sunset. So I am cops are gone. I have, I come out of cocks are gone. They have, look, I can't see no cocks, can you? They're gone, they should be there. They're gone. I think I see the remains of a, of a testicle. 
Oh, I've got loads of music. Okay, right, I've got to go and sit in the pond. I'll have a happy ending. Christmas Eve vlog. I'm going to try to do one tomorrow. I'll get this loaded up. And you should see this tonight. So, let's go and see if I can get a seat in the pond. Busy, look, up here. Oh man, them chickens, look, they're shrunk. It's got some new ones on the go. <laughs> but as you can see, this is by Camilla. It's a really cool place. You can swing out, you can lounge. You can still sunbathe till up till six o'clock. Perhaps the last six if the sun was out there, but... Ah, <laughs> oh, man, what a disappointment. It really is, but it's really busy. All the restaurants are busy. Fresh seafood. Oh man, it's looking good. It's really cab. It's all gone. <laughs> restaurants are busy. Makes such a difference. Six months makes a huge difference. So I'm gonna get to the pond, that's sunset. Sun would have been gone. Anyway, I'm glad I came out. I'm so dry, my lips are really dry. They really are. I really, I really hope I can get a seat at the pond. Or I just gotta sit on the beach and drink Leo. I am. I'm nearly there. I'm gonna sit. Just lounging about. And I can just squeeze on the end of it. Pretty catch. Leo? Leo? Small Leo. Whew. Right, give me a minute to recover and I'll put you back on. Yeah, we're working. Tomorrow is Christmas Day. I think I'm gonna go and buy a new camera. I can't keep irritating you with doing this crap, can I? It's all right, thought the camera might recover. Thought it might suddenly start working properly. You know, I thought, oh, oh, oh just work properly. No, I think it's packing in. Packing in as I am this evening. Now, I did go to the pond just a little while ago, but I met a few mates, had a few beers, and I didn't really, it was really busy in there. So it would have been, it was quite awkward for slinging the old camera out. So I've now come home where I'm going to wrap this vlog up, right? So anyway, this is my apartment. I'm out here on the balcony, on the main road. There's a bar down there. There's a massage parlor just there. There's two massage parlors right down there, isn't it? It's Christmas Eve, isn't it? So I'm sitting there, I'm saying, oh, you know, I think there may be another massage parlour there. But the ride's fairly quiet. Ish. <laughs> so there are, you know. So it's not a bad place to stay. The Sabina. There's another floor upstairs. And then going in here, it is like going back to 1986. It's a bed set, isn't it? Got a little chair and a table. 1980s telly. 1980s fridge. 1980s sink unit with a little bit of tiling. Maybe left over from the 70s. Someone took some acid. Some really bad acid by the looks of it. <laughs> Fucking hell, I don't want none of that. Thank you very much. No. No, the mushrooms in Phuket are perhaps not worth taking. So there are my shit on the bed. Shit on the floor. Shit on the table. Shit. That's it. So, anyway, why don't I turn the vlog? I'm going to end this vlog because I've now got to literally edit and make this. My night is far from over. Now, do you know what I've got to do for the next two or three hours? Sit here, there is a fridge with four Leos, bottle of orange juice, coffee always in the fridge for the morning, some fresh milk. We do have four egg custards. They may get eaten during the night. They may not, they may be there for breakfast. But I want to test out what 129 baht chicken is really like from the fridge. Now when I bought it, it was, it was hot, it was warm. It had just been roasted, I reckon. Oh, I'm jilting you about a bit, don't want to jilt you about too much. So I'm just gonna have a bit of chicken. Wish you all Merry Christmas. It's not my Christmas lunch. It's not, oh man, it's bloody cold. Oh. Mm.
Mm. Mm. You guys have been all out all night, all day on the piss, smoking weed. And you come in and you have a cold spit roast chicken. It's a little bit spicy. On Christmas Eve, I think you'd be fucking happy. <laughs> and a fridge full of beer. And, um, um, look. Mmm. Got that. <laughs> got that. And thanks to Johnny G. I still got some of that. I've been making Johnny G's all day. And I will be on Christmas Day. So a big thanks to Johnny G and Mandy for sponsoring the last couple of days. Yes, the last couple of days, sponsorship from Johnny G and Mandy. Awesome. Right, guys. That chicken is fucking good. I'm not going to tuck the fuck into that. I'm going to cane that. I'm going to have that beer. I'm going to open it right now because I'll probably have another one. Roll a few of them. Johnny G specials. And then sit outside there while I... Uh, clip this up, make this vlog, and then load it up on YouTube, which you should be getting as soon as I can fucking do it. So cheers. Mm. Oh, fuck yeah, man. Happy Christmas. And, oh, mate, I've had a really good Christmas Eve. I really have, and we ain't over yet, so I really hope all of you have a really good Christmas Eve. It's awesome. Sounds something the matter, Oh, wow.